Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a Silicon Valley patent attorney. Welcome back to my channel today. Today, I want to answer some more questions relating to provisional patent applications. These are questions that have come up either through my inbox or through my channel feed. So frequently asked question is, do I need to file a provisional patent application before I show or share my invention? And there's no real clear cut answer to this. Now, my bias is, file early, file off, and especially with respect to provisional patent applications. You're gonna feel so much better if you have a provisional patent application on file before you approach manufacturers or approach investors or approach others to get help with your design, building prototypes, for example. And I feel that with inventors when they come to me, often they're very reluctant to share their inventions with me. The reason is they don't wanna get ripped off. And I'll tell you that a patent attorney is not gonna steal your invention. And the reality is you're not gonna be able to successfully monetize your invention unless you let someone else know about it. So filing a provisional patent application, a relatively inexpensive process, will help you feel better about sharing your invention, about explaining it, about getting help in monetizing it. Now I've mentioned on others of these videos that you have up to 12 months from the first public disclosure in order to get your patent application on file, whether it be a provisional application or a utility application. You have 12 months from the first public disclosure. This question came up in one of the earlier comments, and the question was, when does a provisional patent application actually get examined? Super question. Actually, a provisional patent application never gets examined. It's merely a placeholder application. It's an explanation of what you had with respect to your invention as of the priority date of the filing. The only time that your provisional patent application ever gets looked at or examined is when there's a question of when you invented something, when a particular element of your invention or when your invention was actually conceived and understood well enough to obtain a priority date. And generally this happens during litigation, which may be five years or 10 years from the actual priority filing of your provisional application. So it may be many, many years before anyone ever goes back to look at your provisional patent application filing. In our firm, we filed some 10,000 patent applications over the last 30 years. I don't know how many of those had the priority of a provisional application, but I suspect quite a few. And yet it's maybe only been a half a dozen times where anybody has bothered to go back and take a look at provision, the provisional patent application to see what was contained in it. So it's a relatively rare thing, but we certainly do wanna have details of the invention in our provisional patent application, because I'll tell you, in those half a dozen times where we went back to look, the contents of those provisional applications was important. Now, one question comes up, how do I hire a patent attorney? And I think the very best way to get a patent attorney to hire any professional for that matter is to ask around, ask people who you work with, Ask people who are in the same space as you are, others who have inventions or, or companies similar to yours. Check with other inventors, general counsel, CFOs of other companies. Most people who have good attorneys are happy to share the names of the attorneys they have. And I think that it's important when you hire attorneys to find people that you feel comfortable talking to. I've hired a ton of patent attorneys over the last 30 years to work with me at my firm. And I'll tell you that that chemistry is super important. Not only my getting along with that person, but the ability for that person to be comfortable talking to others. So I think if you have a good attorney, that relationship, that chemistry is gonna feel right to you. But start with recommendations from friends and colleagues and others in your industry. I think referrals are the very best way to find great professionals. How long does it typically take to get a provisional patent application prepared if you go to a professional? Well, this gets back to an earlier statement that I've made. Provisional patent applications are never formally examined. So a provisional application can actually be quite informal. It can be a PowerPoint deck or a stack of design documents. Typically, figures and an explanation of how to build the invention, how to use the invention, and then if there's special manufacturing techniques or requirements, that those would be helpful as well. I also like to write a simple patent claim maybe at the end of the application. It's not required, but it just 
helps us remember later what the specific points of our invention, what the points of novelty of the invention are when we go to convert that application, maybe 12 months in the future. So how long does it take? Well, many times the reason we're filing provisional applications is that an inventor has a meeting in a day or two with a potential manufacturer and they wanna get the application on file. So it's actually a pretty simple process to file a provisional patent application, it takes less than 30 minutes typically, although it may require a, a number of hours to write up the materials and put the package together. Allow yourself about a week. It may take a little longer if you have a professional firm do it for you. On the other hand, if you need to have an application filed by the next day, that's also very possible and it happens a lot. What about drawings? Do I need to have formal drawings when I file my provisional patent application? And the answer to that is no, sort of related to the last question. The informal drawings are fine, and hand sketches are fine, photographs, photocopies of napkins, you can submit PowerPoint decks, stick figures, whatever's helpful in explaining the invention that you have. The figures don't have to be formal, but err on the side of inclusivity. Include the extra drawings, even if the drawings are a little ugly. Better to put them in than to leave them out. Also, it's okay to annotate your drawings. Write some notes on the drawings, as these annotations can be super helpful when trying to interpret the drawings later. And it's so much better to have an extra figure that you don't need than to need a figure that you don't have. And this has come up in my practice before. I remember some years ago, an inventor filed his own utility patent application and left out an important figure. And we were left during the examination of trying to reconstruct a figure from the text that was in the description of the invention. And it was really quite difficult to manufacture a figure that we didn't have just based on the text. So better to put in the extra figures and the extra embodiments and we can decide later how to use them. It's so much better to have extra. Okay, that's my frequently asked questions on provisional patent applications for today. If you have any comments or questions regarding provisional patent applications, put them in the comments section below and I'll try to answer your questions or maybe include them in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Look forward to seeing you next time.